Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In this video, we're gonna cover QWQ 32B, the new reasoning model from Alibaba Q1 team. It claims to embracing the power of reinforcement learning. And if you look at the performance, um, it has similar performance comparing to DeepSeek R1 uh, 671B. So it is a little bit off, but uh, almost the same. Um, and it claims to be very, very good. Uh, even it is a much smaller model than DeepSeq R1 uh, 671B. Um, so in this video, we're going to show you how to install it locally so you can try it out. Also, a few findings after uh, we made some tests. Um, that being said, let's get started. So if you want to set up the QWQ32B on a local machine or on Kaggle, so the easiest way is to use VLLM, uh, which I already demoed a few videos in this channel, and the open web UI. So if you do not know how to set up VLLM, uh, search for VLLM in this channel. Uh, you should be able to find the videos uh, and tutorials to help you to set that up on Kaggle. And in this video, we're going to uh, use the Bartoski uh, QWQ32B GGUF model. So it is a quantized model. We're going to use the 4 bit version, which is about 18 gigs. And you can see here, after it's been up, it takes about uh, 29 gigs um, instead of the 18 gigs model. So you can see that uh, we're using this uh, GGUF model, and also we're using the tokenizer from the Q1 QWQ32B official uh, repo. And we're going to use the uh, parallel size equals to 2 and also the parallel pipeline parallel size equals to 1 and uh, the GPU uh, max model length is 8192 which is the context length and then we're going to give the alias as Q1 QWQ 32B Q4 so that's basically the VLM setup so you can actually test the model and for open web UI and uh, just search for open web UI in this channel you should be able to set that up and we already did and uh, we made a few tests. Uh, the first question that we asked the uh, new Alibaba QWQ model is the uh, how many A letters in the word Alibaba. So for this very simple question, they did it correctly. So there's uh, three instances of A. And for another question that we asked is the uh, what's the capital city of the country whose name ends with HIA? I'm referring to the country name here. So if you look at the reasoning, there's a lot of our thinking uh, for some reason. And after listing all the country names, uh, somehow it did not give the correct answer. So the answer it gave is the Georgia, which is not correct. Um, but if you ask the same thing uh, to DeepSeq R1, you can see that they got it correctly. So it is uh, Czechia. And also, it doesn't have a lot of reasoning. It just seems to uh, perform much better. Um, so, um, still, uh, DeepSeq R1 seems to be a better option. Uh, so, the other question that we asked uh, to test the QWQ32B model is this question uh, to generate a SVG code for a flower. And it's supposed to be a fairly straightforward uh, SVG code generation. So a little bit coding, but uh, if you look at the answer, actually they did not give the exactly the correct answer as expected. But if you ask the deep seek R1, uh, it actually gave a good answer. So I also pasted the uh, feature code here. You can see that's very nice. So uh, overall, I think um, if you want to test the new QWQ32P model, you can try it on Kaggle as we demoed here. Um, so the steps are in this channel. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions or join the Discord channel. So um, to understand how to set this up, if you have not tried it, uh, I think you can try it. Um, but I uh, still um, think that the D Seek R1 uh, seems to perform better, as also in the matrix shown here. Um, that being said, hopefully uh, this is helpful. Uh, if you do like this video. Please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.